approaching Kadara. Besides being a haven for Nexus exiles, what do we know about this place? A group of exiles called the Outcasts liberated Kadara port from the Ket. Until recently, their power was absolute. But a new gang, the Collective, has been chipping it away. Real shady bastards, led by an unknown called the Charlatan. Well, with luck, they'll be too busy shooting at each other to notice us. Probe's launched. Anomaly found. Orbiting Kadara. Standing order for all incoming ships. The port is a ceasefire zone by order of Sloane Kelly. She was head of Nexus security. Be ready for anything and keep comms open. Should hear from our resistance contacts soon. Incoming call. Patching it through. There's been a development regarding the spy, Venturev. Rendezvous at Crawler Song. Your contact's codename is Shayna. Shayna. Got it. One hell of a welcome sign. Exiles have stepped up their game since the revolt. Not too shabby for folk who got kicked off the station with nothing to show for it. Maybe we can get them back on our side. We know they can fight Cat. Our supplier's waiting. Come on, we're gonna be late. Do I even want to know? Nope. You can't do this! This is a home. Should have paid your protection fees then. And Sloan wonders why people join the Collective. Say that again. I dare you. What are you doing to these people? Nothing they weren't expecting. Port's got two rules. No guns and pay your protection fees. What are you, the mob? <laughs> Other way around. Outcasts of the law in Kadara. You got a problem with that? You can join these assholes. Pathfinder, it will be difficult to find the spy if you're barred from the city. Guess that's true. What was that? Nothing. I'll be on my way. Creep. Nice gear. Could find something better. Check the console. Where'd you find your stock? That information's out of your price range, friend.
phone's discount doesn't extend to grunts. What did you say? Buy something or leave. I've got other customers. A squishy thing like you needs protection. Got the best armor in all of Kadara. And the most expensive, apparently. You look like you can afford it. I want to buy a gun. Got plenty of those. What you looking for? Shotgun? Pistol? Um, never mind. Kadara's honored by your presence. And your credits. Finally, the respect I deserve. Happy to oblige. Pathfinder. Interested in the Collective's services? How do you know who I am? The Collective makes a point of knowing everything and everyone worth knowing in Helios. You sound more like information brokers than pirates. The two aren't mutually exclusive. Let's say I was interested in joining your little gang. How would I do that? You're more high profile than our usual members, but it's up to the charlatan who joins. If you have potential, our leader will reach out to you, usually through a representative. And then what? For some, that's it. Others may have to pass a test. It's different for every recruit. I'm having trouble nailing down what the Collective is exactly. Understandable. We aren't one thing. Think of us as a service provider. We cater to our clients' needs. Even if that means killing and stealing from people. Survival is an ugly business, Pathfinder, but unlike the outcasts, we aren't governed by hate. If the initiative proved reasonable, I'm sure the charlatan would be willing to work with the Nexus. Who is the charlatan? No one seems to have a straight answer. The charlatan is our leader and a private individual. Even I haven't seen them in person. You take orders from a stranger? I've met representatives. People who speak for the charlatan and carry out their will. Whoever the charlatan is, man or woman, they provide information, care, resources. It's ours. That's enough for me. What's going on between the Collective and the Outcasts? Officially, nothing. Unofficially? Lines are being drawn, Pathfinder. That's all I can say. Thanks for your time. Of course, Pathfinder. Of course. You pay. I said. You look like you're waiting for someone.
Not interested. Shayna. But you can call me Reyes. I hate code names. I was expecting someone more... Angaran. <laughs> the Resistance pays me to supply information. Among other things. So you're a smuggler? Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloane Kelly, leader of the Outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloane? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. Dress it up however you want. She's a criminal. You work for the Initiative. Sloane was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. I'm taking him, with or without her permission. We're gonna be friends, you and I. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan, I'll talk to the Resistance. How do I contact you if things go south? Hey! You gotta pay! Keep the change. Always do. Sam, tell me about Sloan Kelly. Before joining the initiative as head of Nexus Security, Miss Kelly served in the Alliance with a nearly spotless record. Nearly? She was involved in multiple altercations with other officers. A hothead. Great. Nice. Shipment 404 hasn't come in yet. Kaidas is gonna be pissed. Sloan's inside. Mind your damn manners. Focus defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. What? 
That's quite the throne. Should I bow? Kiss your ring? Very funny. So, what brings a pathfinder to our humble port? Van Terev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. Just point me to where you're holding him and there won't be any trouble. No. There won't be. Drop it! Now! You first. Get out. Or I'll put you down. Thanks for the hospitality. You're not welcome here. That could have gone better. Perhaps Mr. Vidal had more success. Pathfinder, over here. Have a nice chat? She almost shot me. <laughs> Don't worry. I found a workaround. Let me guess. Comes with strings attached? Not any new ones. Remember, Ephra wants Ven alive, so when you get inside, give him this. That'll eat through whatever Sloan's holding him in, and it can't be traced back to us. A resistance agent will be waiting to pick Ven up. What if he makes a run for it? It's covered. You just focus on whatever it is you need from Ven. There's a maintenance shaft around the corner, sending the access code to your Omni tool. That'll get you inside. You should be able to handle the rest. There's still the matter of the bill you left me with? I'm usually the model gentleman. I don't believe you. Because I'm lying. When you're done, Come to Tartarus. First round's on me. I promise. shaft Reyes mentioned. Oh. Looks like it leads to a stock room. Sam, anyone up there? No heat signatures detected. The room is clear to enter. What do you want? The Archon ship. Where is it? This a new interrogation tactic? Sloane's getting lazy. I'm not with Sloane. Ephra sent me. Answer my questions and I can get you back to the Resistance. So I'm trading one cell for another? This is what happens when you make deals with the bad guy. Or stay here. Sloan's sharpening up a spike just for your head. Uh, I'd rather be miserable than cock and food. Which brings us back to the Archon ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested should still be outside the city. This is your way out of here. A resistance contact will be waiting. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshai? Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket, and still, Ephra puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. So you took things into your own hands. I made the call he wouldn't. 
the Archon only wanted the Moshai. I thought if I gave her up... Uh, I didn't know what the Ket were doing to my people. You resent Ephra, so the Archon used that against you. If Ephra was a better leader... Uh, it doesn't matter. And I'll accept the consequences. Pathfinder, the communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Betra, Drac, are you back from whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hitch. <laughs> Benefit of bringing a Krogan along. Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. Again. If you would like, Pathfinder, I could provide an analysis of the deceased. He's Angaran. There are multiple lacerations on the face and abdomen. Another body? I don't get paid enough for this shit. There's been more than one murder? Seven by my count, but that's all I know. Perhaps Mr. Vidal would have more information, Pathfinder. Pathfinder. I'm afraid Sloan put you on the no-recruit list. We can still talk, right? I want to know more about the outcasts. I'll answer what I can. Can anyone join the outcasts? Besides me, of course. Anyone can show interest, but Sloan has final say on who becomes a member. I'm guessing there's a selection process? All recruits undergo a series of trials that tests their endurance, loyalty, and intellect. What does it mean to be part of the outcasts? For most people, it's a sense of security. Something desperately needed in Helios. You didn't feel secure on the Nexus? You weren't there during the uprising. It was chaos. And the idiots running things only made it worse. Thanks to Sloane, we have direction. A family. So you're happy under Sloane? I... yeah. Guess I am. <laughs> Can't say this is what I expected when I signed up in the Milky Way. But I came to Andromeda to be part of something bigger than myself. I have that with the outcasts. Tell me about Sloane. Before the uprising, she was head of Nexus security. She gave up her position to protect us. We'd be dead if not for her. Do you know her personally? She makes it a point to get to know all of her people. Which is a lot more than the charlatan can say. Things seem tense between the outcasts and the Collective. They're a bunch of hypocritical upstarts who hide their dirty tactics behind good business. See? There's that tension. Sloane will make quick work of them. Why hasn't she done so already? It's not for me to question her methods. Kader is ours. Nothing's gonna change that. That's all for now. See you around, Pathfinder. You okay? What? Oh, yeah, of course. Maybe you should freak out more quietly then, so you don't draw attention to yourself. Shit, <laughs> was I that obvious? Uh, yeah, what's going on? I joined the outcasts a few weeks ago. Kytus tasked me with collecting protection fees. Thought it'd be easy. But we talked to so many people, I got the names mixed up and banished someone who paid their fee. They didn't protest it? Of course, she did. But they all do. We don't really listen. What are the chances she's still alive? I don't know. Slim. The Badlands are... bad. I thought about looking for her, but I can't risk Kytus finding out I screwed up. I need this job to feed my little brother. 
Our mom's still in cryo on the Nexus. He's got no one else. I'll look for her. Just tell me her name and any clues about where she might be. Remy Tamayo. She would have gone to the slums for processing. After that, no idea. Uh, the Warden might know. Everyone who's banished to the Badlands goes through him. You're the Pathfinder, right? One of your crew, Liam, already secured parking for your vehicle. She's ready for you. 